welcome to our In the Spotlight video with Virgin Voyages. Now, Luke, for agents who are new to Virgin Voyages, give us a brief overview of why you're different. Well, Charlotte, <laughs> I will try to be as succinct as I possibly can, right? So a brief overview about Virgin Voyages, right? So first and foremost, uh, we're multi-award winning, right? So from Condé Nast to even TTG's very own best premium cruise line, right? So it's a product that people know and love. Uh, we are exclusively adults and inclusive in every way, right? So we've given sailors the green light to truly get away and embrace uh, their holiday sales. And we try and we, we firmly deliver uh, an indulgent experience at sea uh, with every single detail. There's no dress codes on board, uh, no set dining times, the power of choice is firmly placed back into the hands of the holiday maker. Uh, and if you are new to cruise, you're watching this and you're like, I've never cruised before, never been on a cruise holiday, think of us, right, as like a multi-city break at sea, right? But your award-winning hotel comes with you uh, as you explore Europe, the Caribbean, or where, wherever you want to be. Fabulous, thank you. And run us through what's included for your sailors. Yeah, so we take the ordinary to the extraordinary, right? And the aim is what we want to do is bring as much value as we possibly can. So how we do that, right, is within every voyage fare, we include over a thousand dollars worth of value, right? So that's from all your eateries. Uh, so all the foods included with every voyage fare, uh, your group fitness classes, Wi-Fi, gratuities, uh, award-winning entertainment as well, and all your essential drinks. For us, essential drinks refers to soft drinks, uh, which is your tea, uh, your coffee, your still, your sparkling water, and all of your sodas. Wonderful. Brilliant. Thank you. And I know 2024 is shaping up to be a really epic year for Virgin Voyages. So tell us what have you got on the horizon? Yeah, we thought 2023 was going to be the year of Virgin Voyages, but 2024 uh, is the year of Virgin Voyages. We've got 19 epic new ports, uh, 27 new voyages, including sailings from Portsmouth, right? So we're returning to uh, UK shores again for 24 uh, and 25. And probably the highlights uh, is going to be the 3rd of September sailing, right? It's our celebration sailing. So Richard Branson is going to be sailing on board as well. Uh, and it's celebrating 50 plus years of uh, iconic Virgin history so it's a real uh, great opportunity for people to sneak a peek behind the the red velvet curtain so to speak amazing wonderful and who should agents be promoting these lovely sailings to yeah so we get a lot of questions about this and rightly so right people want to make sure that they're promoting the right cruise line to their database for us um to break the misconceptions out there and to myth bust firmly uh Everybody over the age the age of 18 is welcome on board a Virgin Voyages ship. That's our minimum age to sail, um, and we don't have a maximum age to sail. We had somebody who recently booked who was 94, so we have got something for absolutely everybody. The average age for those interested ranges between 42 and 47, uh, and our sweet spot, or probably a, a large sweet spot, we'd say, is probably your late 30s uh, up until your over 60s, right? Over half of people married, over half of people have still got kids at home. Um, but the key thing is everybody understands that taking time away from them, for themselves uh, is something that will really contribute to their well-being. And people understand that value, right, is not just about how much you can get for your money. Like, what is the lowest price they can pay for our customers as well? That matters. Um, but also value takes a lead in delivering premium products, luxury experiences, uh, combined with a fantastic service at a price point that they feel uh, is worth paying. And we're able to do that all in a relaxed luxury environment. Brilliant. Thank you. And you've got quite a unique approach to pricing, don't you? Could you talk us through how it works with Virgin Voyages? Yeah, yeah, unique is definitely the word here. <laughs> um, but yeah, Virgin, right, has built his commitment on being the champion uh, change for the customer, right? So across Virgin companies, the golden thread is that people want to be straight up, right, in terms of their pricing. So what we've got here is we've got something called uh, uh, fair and flexible fares, right? So it's fairer because sailors get more without the hidden fees and charges. So the price you see is the price you pay, whether that's for the ticket price or whether that's even for uh, some of the onboard products. And flexible because we know that ship happens, right? Ship happens, right? And we shouldn't be, <laughs> I said ship would be, uh, we shouldn't be <laughs> penalized, right, for needing to change plans. So with that, we've got incredible value, true transparency, epic experiences, no hidden charges and fees. Uh, your sailors are going to know uh, what to expect at the end of their voyage uh, before they actually end, which is even greater, right? So you know, uh, one of the misconceptions about cruises, you pay a fortune to get on, then you have to pay a fortune to get off. For us, very transparent with what you're getting. So there's no hidden shock, no sticker shock, no hidden fees. It's just value all the way. 
And so we're really excited for 2024. New destinations, new experiences, new menu items, new everything. It's going to be great. <laughs> Fabulous. Wonderful. Thank you, Luke. And thank you for watching our In the Spotlight video with Virgin Voyages. Thanks, everyone.